Hello, everyone, and welcome into our Old World playthrough with the sacred and the profane. I do apologize. I thought that I had started my recording, but I had not. So that is my fault. My fault, my fault, my fault. Um, one second, real quick. Now that I realize that I haven't started my recording, I'm going to fix the microphone. All right, that should be a lot better. So... You didn't miss much before I realized that we had stopped recording. The first thing that you uh, you all missed, um, actually the only thing, is I got an event here uh, for Hati that was proposed by the ambassador here, which also happens to be the uh, head of Judaism from um, Hattusa, which is great for us. Uh, however, um, he, he offered us a national alliance, so we do have a national alliance now with uh, Hattusa. And that also made the head of Judaism endeared to us, right? So all of our cities with uh, Judaism now uh, as the um, state religion gain a bunch of opinion, uh, a bunch of happiness, which is fantastic for us. So, yeah. So that's plus three happiness from just being super friendly in all of our Jewish states, which is uh, a lot of them. So yeah, very, very good. We'll finish up this turn here. Um, let's see. The Queen of Carthage could become endeared to me. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, and then we'll end the turn there. Our family relations are looking good. They could be better, but they are looking good still. We are actually very, very close on... Uh, unfortunate. All this vision that I just gained comes with all the drawbacks of me having to, to look at them. I should probably disable them. I wonder if I can disable animations or at least speed them up so that I don't have to look at them so much. But what I'm trying to say here, they're not lettering me. Let's see. Oh, nice. Cool. Queen of Carthage is endeared to me. Nice. I'm now known as the architect. I've completed the legacy. Perfect. Look at that. I was trying to say this, but it kept pulling me in every direction everywhere. But I was trying to say that I was about ready to complete the Oracle. And the Oracle was going to give me a bunch of agent networks, which is what it did. And those agent networks completed my legacy ambition. Now... My axemen here are uh, being put through the ringer. So what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to... Let's kill one of them. So I could take you, move you here, and attack. <laughs> you move you here and attack oof I may have to force march you and then we'll take the kill here that force march was probably unnecessary but we did get the kill here and I don't think that with him standing in forest, that I'm going to take too much damage here. Now, I do have this archer as well as this militia. Uh, I'm going to keep the militia here kind of as bait. Yes, they are going to take a lot of damage, but I don't really care if they do. Um, hmm. How much damage could you do to me? Five? I want to stay inside here. There's not really good ground that I can do. So I'll stay at like five. Minus five there. I should be able to kind of duel a little bit. Let's get some citizens going and at least spending those citizens, right? That's something that we have to be a little bit more uh, methodical with. Let's get our barley going. We don't have too many orders left, but let's see what we got here. Um, Carthage is upset. They either want to go to war or I pay them some sort of tribute. Uh, I think that we do gold because it's the easiest. Um, do I keep peace and gain opinion with them? 
with the cost of legitimacy. I think that I do. I know that I'm sacrificing a lot of legitimacy, but I think that is probably the best way to keep our relations high, right? Uh, and I mean, they're not very high at the moment. I'd imagine that the National Alliance is what's causing it. Oh no, the religion opinion is there. Yeah, National Alliance does hurt quite a bit, so I'll have to improve in any way that I can. Okay, let's see what my options are here. I could become frugal, which decreases the cost of all my improvements. That's a very, very nice one. Um, is this even me? No, this is just my sister, so not very nice at all. Happiness and Maraud is really great. Civics are also great for us. So I think it's probably between civics and happiness. And I think happiness is probably going to be the best one, right? I want to continue to endear our families to us because the more endeared they are to us, the better, right? Um, us not having orders here is a bit of a bummer, right? Can I attack here to get the kill? What do you do? You only do two to me. What about to you? You only do five there. This is perfect. Okay, so I take the fight here. Then I should be good. I'm going to take... Don't really have too much that I can work with on that settler down there, which is unfortunate. Let's see what we got here. Production, production. Okay, we just finished a trapper. Probably need to use our citizens. Might be nice to get an archer or walls. Let's do walls. It's going to help us with happiness here. Okay. Let's see. Could make in my courtier or improve. Yep, keep improving opinions. Unfortunate end. Let's see, what do we need? Um, I think charisma is probably the best. Guys, if we are looking at our resources, we are suffering with food. Um, let's see. We are talking about Murad. Murad is right here. The thing that they'll probably be producing the most is mines and as well as lumber mills, but probably specifically focusing on lumber mills here, right? Um, so let's see. Warlike gives me plus two uh, training. I'm not really suffering. Growth is probably good. Same thing with charisma. It gives me a bunch of civics. I think I'm just going to take the charisma. I don't think that I need affable that much. I know that affable is a fantastic promotion, but I do think that optimizing for the uh, civics there is a, is a better play. It's hard at the moment because of... Excuse me. Okay, I know that you're only trying to help, but I had that handled, brother. I had it. Oh, I. where did that one come from? And how did I miss it? Oh, don't kill my elephant. Absolutely. More opinion. Okay, my elephant needs to come back. I actually can't really handle this at the moment, which is pretty frustrating for me. So I'll take my elephant back. I'm going to move you back, but only... Mm, I messed up there. Only a little. I'll take the promotion. I'll do the ranger promotion. Okay, let's see. Production here. Um, we could use a citizen. I definitely want to get this stone online as well as the civics. I think that that's fantastic. We have another settler here that we can move over in this direction if we really wanted to. Uh, I think I'm going to. What do we need here? Probably we need to spend our citizens, right? So um, we need culture. Uh, we need food, right? Uh, wait, this gives us, sorry, this rancher gives us orders, and I think orders are probably where we, what we need the most at the moment. I need to deal with you, because you're, you're bothering me at the moment. Let's see. 7 HP there. I could just go ahead. Mm, I do want to back up a little bit here. Maybe I pop to where this guy is, and then I hit. Got the critical hit, which is very nice. When these builders are done, I'll go and repair that quarry. Um, let's see. What do we have? 
I could add a mine. It's a Lorien mine. Um, absolutely, I'll take that. Uh, the discipline is nice, but I'll take the the mine. I think the mine has greater value. Uh, I actually don't love the placement on that. I'm gonna take that back. This is where my mill is going. It's super unfortunate that of all the tiles, it shows the one that's right in the middle of all my other ones. So I'll take the discipline for the gold. That's gonna pay for the little tribute that I sent over to Carthage anyway. Let's go ahead and get a lumber mill going. I definitely need to start getting some hamlets up in here. I don't know what to do with this settler. This settler needs to be moving over here towards this Danish encampment, but I mean, let's be honest, I'm not even getting the Danish encampment at the moment. Let's upgrade you to an archer. Let's, hmm, what should we do with you? Definitely the garrison is a, is a good idea. I definitely don't want it up against the mountains because I'm gonna be using that for our quarries. Can I build something here? I can't, unless it's a mine. Um, I think that I'm going to go here then, and I'm going to build a garrison here. I think that's going to be important for our long-term orders. Okay, let's see. What can I do with you? Not really much. What can I do with you? Probably something more, right? I could go with the, the museum. A, a bunch of elder specialists give me civics, which would be great, but I haven't been producing a whole ton of those. I could just move right here and go to the Acropolis, which gives me, you know, half an order per year. All cities half an order per year with a forum. Uh, absolutely, right? Hamlet is also a great idea. Where are my wonders? The Acropolis. Should we just go ahead and build this? Why not, right? You know, that's... I mean, building wonders is probably the, the best thing that we can do. Or one of the best things that we can do in this game, right? This is fine. Him tanking hits is great. Me only taking one HP there is also great. I mean. Nice. Bunch of people converting. My heir. I haven't been keeping up. Unfortunate. I haven't been keeping up on her tutoring and her stats actually just really suck. Um, let's do tracker, I guess. Let's take you. Let's tutor you again. All right, we got a uh, range or a stronghold. We got a stronghold in here, so we'll be able to produce an archer soon. I think that I take this archer down and I move him here. And I just take a shot, right? Take a shot here. I switch these two. I take the hit here, I move you here, take the kill, which is great for me. You just finished. A garrison in here wouldn't be a horrible idea. So let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty, you're finished. An amphitheater is a great idea. Gives me happiness as well as border popping for me. So let's go ahead and get started on that. I have to buy the stone, but that's fine. Okay, you finished. I need you over here. Repair the quarry. I don't have too many orders left, unfortunately, but I can go ahead and focus on getting this city up, I think is what I need. Let's see, which family? Cassite family. Um, let's see. How many cities does the Cassite family have? They have three. Chaldeans have three and our traders have one two okay this one has to go to the traders i have to otherwise they'd be really really mad at me i could afford the penalty but i'm going to take the traders here anyway so let's go ahead and do that traders that let's go ahead and start producing a worker in here two orders left. Let's go ahead and see what our event is here. I don't want her to become exiled. Don't want her to become a fugitive. Uh, 
Oh, geez. Who is this person? Okay, I'll just exile her. That's unfortunate. Which means this settler will need to start moving in the other direction. Let's see. What can I do? I need to take over this site. I'd like to take over this site as well. It's just a little bit more complicated. These are getting a little bit out of hand. But that's fine. Let's see. Worker. Next worker. Okay, is you. Let's probably move you here and then just do a lumber mill, right? Let's go ahead and get that lumber mill started since we do get the boost from the Chaldean family on that. And then we'll continue forward here. I am a little bit concerned about the score. I'm definitely not in the lead yet. So we've had, uh, I mean, we've, we've had a, a little bit more of competition than we had in our previous ones, which is fantastic for us. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look here. Groves are definitely important. A free maceman isn't a bad idea. So let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and take it. Let's take the free maceman. Um, sure, I'll pay tribute. Not a big fan of this at all. Let's see you. Um, judge. I would like a judge. Are you a judge as well? You are a judge. Okay. That helps us quite a bit. I'm going to take the courage because I don't want either one of those promotions here. Let's see. Just got another worker in here. And I believe that what we need first is our hamlets. So let's go right here. Build a hamlet. Okay, we need to use our citizens a little bit. So let's go ahead and get you going in there. All right, we need to start healing up on our elephant here. Nice. I could still hit him for five HP here, so I'm going to. I wish that I could move forward into this slot, but I can't. What I can do though is move you forward, hit move you here, kill, and hopefully I don't get blasted by every single one of these on one character. My archer should be safe because they're in here. The only one that I'm worried about is my axeman. So hopefully that doesn't get mobbed next turn because that would be definitely really frustrating. All right, um, let's see. I want to get this camp online because that's going to give me orders and orders are going to be very important for me. Um, okay. Next one. Let's see you. What can I do with you? I have my Hamlet. Uh, this just needs to be a quarry, right? Yeah. Let's get you going. I need to deal with, okay, let's buy some orders. So at least buy one. I get this here. Uh, why would I do that? That was silly. Let's just hit. Um, let's buy two more so that I can move you here. Yeah, move you here and take a shot. Just starting to gain that XP. Let's see what we do here. Definitely want an Acadian Archer. We want to recruit our unique unit do more damage. We'll also get one here once the rancher is finished. Make sure that our military is still being used to the best of our ability. Also guys, I do want to shout out here. If you've made it this far in the video, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I, I am sitting currently at just shy of 50 subscribers and I would definitely love some help getting to that mark, mostly because I didn't ever think that I could do it. I know 50 doesn't seem like a really large number, but it would mean a lot for me. So if you guys wouldn't mind, just go ahead and subscribing to the channel, maybe liking the video, that'd be great. Huh, let's see. 
My daughter becomes endeared to me, which is great. But my sister becomes disappointed. Her opinion of me kind of matters. Let's just do this one. Yeah, let's go assassinate someone. Four cold baths. Okay, let's see where we're at in the tech tree, getting towards baths. Architecture could be there, right? Not a hard tech or not a hard ambition to get. Four courthouses. Let's see where we're at there. Citizenship, also not a hard one to get. Definitely one that we'll probably be focusing on as well. These are both very doable ambitions that we could go for. I think that we're going to go for the four courthouses because it would give us the most opinion from the Cassite family. Or it would give us a good opinion from the Cassite family. We're also going to uh, appoint a scout, or excuse me, a spy master. And we are going to choose someone from the Chaldean family. I think that we're going to go here. Mm, mm, here. Because it's a less of a cost on orders. Chaldean family will like us. Oh, I did that wrong. We're going to go with the Essene family. Perfect. This actually gets me orders. Or I could just do here and get me science. Yeah, and this one isn't even the right one. So let's just do the science here. Doesn't cost me orders. They gain opinion of us as well. Now it's fair and equitable. I don't know where this rebellion actually came from. This is very frustrating. They're not at a low enough. Maybe I need to read the events a little bit more, but we're, we're not at a low enough rating to get rebels in here, man. Okay, let's see. Who are we sending you off to? I think that the most dangerous individual is probably Egypt, right? Start caravan mission. Let's go to Egypt. Let's get a moat. Yeah, let's get a moat up because it's going to give me happiness. Really con control the discontent is probably one of our bigger and more important strategies. Um, I can't just let you keep tanking, but I can move you forward here, take a hit. The trades there are a lot more favorable. Hey, okay, I can move you here, take a shot. I don't want to move. Is this trees? No, it's urban. Okay, would I still want to take that hit anyway? It's very possible. Okay, workers are idle, which is unfortunate, but it is kind of the where we're at here. Definitely need to buy more orders. And we'll just hit here, take the kill here to protect our worker. That's definitely something that needs to happen. We're going to have more raids coming in this direction. And once we have the orders, we'll be able to, to kind of fight that off. But we still are working on clearing this camp up here, which shouldn't be too long for the world. But it is our main priority is clearing this camp, which is sucking the majority of our order uh, economy. Civics isn't horrible, right? Do I have any unpassed laws? I mean, I really need to get to tolerance, right? Like, look at all the opinion that I would get from tolerance. Same thing with pilgrimage. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't have any unpassed laws at the moment. That's not all I use my civics for. What are my other options again? Money and training. Training to buy orders. It actually isn't a horrible idea. I think that I'm going to go with that. I also need to make sure that I'm focusing on food. I do have a... A rancher, which is coming out, which is going to help me with some food. Same thing with this farmer. I'm also... I, I built a farm down here. I could go ahead and get another farmer as soon as possible down here as well. 
But we do need to emphasize food, right? We're, we're getting enough military units that that's what's happening. Or that, that we're suffering on food. This is annoying. I, don't, I actually don't know where this came from. I'd have to go back and look at the VOD, but I mean, that's just a lot of effort for me being curious. Stop this. Nice. Nice. That was a very, very favorable trade. Let's see. Nice. Improve my wisdom. I could take the hit with Judaism. I don't want to take the hit with my families. Unfortunate. She's a great character. I'm going to bring her in. I could choose a new ambassador right now. Let's see. It could be from any family that I want. So just the best option here. Foreign opinion plus 45. I think that that's the best one that I could do. But the trade-off here of the 15 extra foreign opinion instead, I, I don't want it. I don't want to lose the opinion too much of our religion. So let's see. Kasura. What do we need here? Inspiring. So plus two culture per year per culture level. Sure. Extra culture is great. All righty. Let's attack. 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 And attack. Okay, we get the kill there. We'll be able to deal with the other one next turn, which is great. Now for you, I can go ahead and take the kill here. Attack here. Attack. Oh, I've already attacked with you. Attack with you as well. I don't know what I do with you. Do I move you up? Okay, if I move you up, how much damage can you do to me? I have one good turn in, which I could probably deal enough damage. Ugh, that's pushing it, right? Yeah, if you do enough damage to me, I could still probably kill you next turn, which is great. Because then I don't have to stress it too much. Uh, that being said, orders that I need to make sure that I'm spending on. This settler needs to be moving. I, this is a long trek, and I probably shouldn't be doing this, but this settler needs to be moving in this direction. I definitely was not optimized for that. Okay, let's make sure our workers are going. I have a worker here. We have, uh, you need to stop. Cancel the court. Cancel the court. This is super unfortunate. Yes. Um, and I need you to, you move here and attack. You move here, heal. You. Can I move you here? By orders, by orders, build amphitheater. Absolutely. Let's get that amphitheater going. I'm also going to build a hamlet here and like an amphitheater slash other stuff here. And the two cities here are going to build off of their own adjacencies, which is great. Uh, production. Just finished the... Um, What do I got in here? Can I get a farmer? No, I can only get the miner, which is over here, which is great because it gives me salt, which is an extra luxury that I can send, right? So let's go ahead and get that luxury online. I think that's very important. Um, production in here. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Um, getting a treasury is a good idea. Same thing with a moat. I think that we'll go with the treasury. Let's just keep improving up here. 
think that I probably made a mistake in getting the free maceman here, but that's fine. I really need to start getting economic technologies. Also, you remember how long I, uh, or how I asked that question of where did that gold mine go? Found it. There was an event earlier in the playthrough that was really eating at me. Nice, Egypt. Egypt's just taking it. What is the matter with you? Are you for real? Okay. Unfortunate. Nice. We got 40 opinion from Egypt and 1,000 gold. I think that's one heck of a deal. Caravans are lit. Gain wisdom. I have, a, I have successfully assassinated her. Nice. Suck it. Okay. We know that we need to get here, but I can't remember why. What were we getting to? Coinage. Yes, because we needed to get to Pacify City. So let's get to navigation here. Or what are our other options? Let's take a look at our other options because our priorities did change, right? I'd like to take architecture, but I can't take architecture and I can't take it. Uh, actually, I could. I could take it. What I really was hoping is that I would get um, citizenship, but it was not drawn, which is unfortunate. So maybe next turn. I think that the best option then for me is to take navigation because that's at least in the direction of something that we know that we want. Babylon's going to produce an Akkadian archer. All right, you finished with the garrison, which is great for us. We definitely want to get this pasture online. It's going to give us some food. Then this turn here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to attack here. We're going to want to take this promotion. Let's see, bloodthirsty versus damaged heckler versus a general heal action. Yep, we'll take this one. It gets me a little bit extra damage. We'll take the shot here. I did that backwards. I want to have the melee attack last. Okay, so, so we will attack here, attack here, then finish you off. Perfect. We could search the ruins, and that could lead to future events. Yeah, absolutely. Search the, the ruins. I'm going to make sure that you heal up. You're going to have company coming in here pretty soon. We have eight orders, no other events that we have to deal with. This is a good opportunity to build a quarry in here. So let's, I mean, not a quarry, an Odeon. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, you got finished. I know that we need to get a mine right here. So let's go ahead and get that mine up and going. Oh, guys. Yeah, you didn't see this. So I put an archer in the way, right? He stepped up into my stuff, right? Just to take a shot at my worker and killed my worker. What a dick. Okay. Uh, let's buy three of these. We're going to attack. Attack. Ugh, I want that kill so bad. What if... Yeah. Move you forward. Buy one more. Take the kill with you. Leave you alone. It's perfect. I'm still leaving this here. Super unfortunate. Are you able to kill next turn? You're not able to kill next turn. I need to make sure that this is a priority for my next turn. Um, I think that we do forum. We definitely need to get our civics up, so let's go ahead and do a forum. We've left a couple of workers idle, but that's what it takes, or that's what happens with low orders. Yeah, you get him, Persia. No, my daughter and heir is cruel. Why? Christian discontent. Okay. Um, let's take no action for now, but let's go to Larsa. We definitely don't want that spilling over. So we're going to come down here, uh, and we're going to get a governor first and foremost. We'll do, I don't want to lose, we'll do a, this happiness here. We lose a bunch of gold, but that's completely fine. Then we suppress Christian descent and make sure that that happens. 
Uh, and then after that, we get a treasury to kind of make up for the wide gap that we have. Um, we need to get food. So let's expand our farmers in here. Try and get more food. I, I really want this kill, so I'm going to move my militia forward. Then I'm going to move him here. Take the kill. Remember I said that this one had to be a priority in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a stab here. Move here. Take a stab. Um, you can't kill no matter where I'm at. So I'm just going to heal just to make sure that you don't die. I'm going to move you into the trees. Take a shot. Move you here. Take a shot. You have a free promotion. I'm going to take it. Let's do... The extra crit or the combat? Crit or combat? Extra crit. Love crit. Maceman is finished, which is fantastic. I'm going to move it in this direction. And the reason is because I want to start taking over that site here. Um, where'd my settler go? Here's my settler. Needs to be moving in this direction. Don't have to waste orders on these guys over here, which is really good for me. Let's take a look at my other idle workers. Okay, we have you here what i want to do actually is yeah let's go odeon and then what i'll do is since i'm a judge leader i could actually just go ahead and start like upgrading a bunch of stuff i haven't taken full advantage of that like i should be um let's buy one we can afford that and let's build a lumber mill this place is just going to be kind of lumber mill haven right because we get plus 20 percent output in all of them and then we have all of these trees so we might as well take advantage of that right Alrighty, I think that we're doing quite well, actually. I, I I really like the the progress that we've made in this episode. We are trying our best to catch up here, but we are struggling. I do need to control four courthouses, so we need to keep that in mind. That shouldn't be too difficult, actually, though. Persia's at war with Numidians. Tribal raid near Ashuna, which is down here. I had converted, converted, old enough. Who are you? My third in line, my nephew? Okay, don't care. Um, lose my civics for happiness. Lose my civics for culture. I'll take the happiness. Definitely don't like to see my civics that low. Um, Egypt would be happy with me, but I would lose 80 happiness, or I gain legitimacy and Egypt wouldn't like me. I, I mean... I'll just offset it on the previous event. That's super unfortunate. Nice. Righteous nephew. Uh, you could study commerce. I'm going to make sure that we prioritize you coming over. The raid is going to be in this area. So we're going to move you back over. I'd imagine the raid is going to be coming from the north here a bit. We need to make sure that we get a... Let's get the stone cutter. Let's go here to kind of pop our borders and so we could keep doing stone in this direction. We also just need to make sure that we're spending our citizens. Uh, we do also need to, to get some civics production there. We have a free promotion here, so we're going to take it. We're going to do uh, steadfast. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, I'm going to take you. Mm. Unfortunate. Then we just kill here here you need to be priority what do i do yeah just take the kill here don't waste orders you perfect i think that i would want to put the hamlet here though because it pops my borders out a little bit further so let's go ahead and do that got an acadian archer going uh, next worker that I got going on here could move you over. Amphitheater is a really great idea, but I don't need to do that. What I could do is I could just upgrade you to an amphitheater, right? Or no, it'd have to be you that I upgrade. Okay, fine. I'll upgrade you to an amphitheater. Nice. Just like that. All right. Now. Where do I want to make sure that my orders are getting spent? I want this maceman to me down here. And we're going to start taking shots at this encampment over here. 
after this archer is finished or maybe after this archer is finished it doesn't necessarily matter we will start producing a settler that we can move in this direction and then after this one we'll move to this danish site up here if persia hasn't figured out how to clear it yet that'll be our priority in in that regard now the next thing that we do need to make sure that we got going on is let's see I have two orders that I can spend. Two orders. Let's just make sure we heal. Um, important units that I gotta get healed. Important units that I gotta get healed. Let's move you in and heal you. I should probably, if I had the orders to spare, I would make sure that I was adding generals to these individuals as well. That's definitely something that I need to put a little bit more emphasis on, but it always feels like kind of a resource suck for me. Even though, I mean, it shouldn't. It's a big part of the game. A lot of bonuses, but for some reason, my mind does what it does. Okay, let's see. Monasteries are fantastic. Monotheism would be great for us because of orders. Um, we can't redraw to try and find the courthouse technology. Let's just take a double look across our, I think rows are very valuable. Like look at all this honey. That's like, I mean, that's four that I could just send to cities, right? And then we also have wine here, which we could not only send to, oh, that's olives. Sorry, I thought that was that was wine. But but groves make a lot of sense, right? We also have lavender that's, that's down here. We have some more honey that we could possibly expand to over here. So I think that land consolidation offers a lot of weight for us. All right, let's take a look at our events. Definitely don't want peace of the Numidians. I'm just going to reject that right off the rip. Um, King Consort can be disappointed with me all he wants. Actually, he's the head of the Chaldean family, so I definitely don't want him to be. So I spend the orders and the gold. He becomes in love with me, shoots his opinion way, way, way high. Um, this is my nephew. He's fourth in line. Let's see. What do I want him to study? Let's go with uh, tactics. Uh... Yep, spend more orders. Unfortunate. I definitely don't want to spend more orders, but, you know, it is what it is at this point. Let's make sure that we move our settler up in this direction. Here's the raid that's coming down. We're going to move you up. Take the shot. Uh, that's a ton of damage. That's because we're in the border, which is very, very nice for us. All right. Production here. We're going to go with a treasury. Okay, we are missing Judaism in here. It's the only place that we're missing it. I don't know if we really need to worry about spreading it immediately because I do think that it will naturally spread, Just uh, especially because there's so many different locations that it can spread from. Um, let's get workers prioritized for now. Let's see. I think the garrison is the first one that I go here. And the reason that I go first with Garrison is simply because I want the orders. So let's do that. Next worker is here. I could go ahead and... Hmm. I could build the stronghold, or I could just go ahead and upgrade you to a stronghold here. Which is what I'm going to do. Okay. You are fine i think that we just spend on healing here or i spend on generals before i get in right this archer has been really really beneficial for us so let's go ahead and put the myself as the general there and then we can add a general here for counterattacks during melee to our maceman I think that that's the the best way to, that, that we do that and then we come over here and we conquer the the numidian location we need production here and i think that we don't have any citizens to spend so it might be a good idea let's go ahead and get spearmen we are quite overloaded i think in terms of uh ranged uh and axemen right we only have the one spearman uh to deal with cavalry so we need to focus a little bit more on some spearmen we could even upgrade you to a spearman as well so 
Um, we need production in here. Let's go with walls. Walls are going to be important for us. I do need a military unit from the Asin family. Thought I could probably just get a militia, right? Okay. Need production down here. Definitely needs to be orders. We need more orders. Need that production going. You know what? And I am very, very comfortable with the progress that we made in this in this video. Um, probably not as far as the, as we wanted to get, but I'd imagine that once we finish off the Numidians here and the Danes here, that our pushing of tribal sites isn't going to be too much of a, a, a of an effort for us. And the great news is, is I think that we're at that point in the game where the discontent levels in the cities are actually going down, where I have enough stuff unlocked for that discontent to start going down or stabilizing and staying in the same way. So I don't really have to worry about too much about, or I don't really have to worry too much about rebellions or anything of the, uh, of that like. So big emphasis of the next episode is going to be finishing up these two sites here and here, getting settlers out to make sure that they get settled, settling this city, um, next episode as well. And then I am just going to start building a bunch of workers and developing my, my land in, 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 in building. Right. Um, I will still occasionally produce an Acadian archer. I still will occasionally produce a military unit. I'm not going to neglect it, but I do have a larger standing army than what I've previously had. And I'm going to continue to, to keep it that way. We just need to make sure that we keep up with the food economy. So that's going to be it with this episode. I appreciate all of you taking the time to r look through this, watch it and enjoy the video. If you have enjoyed it, like I said earlier, like, and subscribe, but I'm not going to go into that again. Have a wonderful day y'all and take care. Bye-bye.